Metal Jesus, and I'm back again with part three of my Wii Hidden Gems video. Now, if you happen to miss out on part one and part two, well, there were a lot of great games in those videos, but I will put links in the annotations on this video and also down below, so you can check those out. Lots and lots of great games. This video is gonna have eight more hidden gems in it, and there's gonna be a special guest. Pretty cool guy, let's take a look. A Boy in His Blob is a remake of a 20-year-old NES classic. And if I'm honest, it's one of my favorite Wii games. This 2D platformer is full of charm, as you play a boy that meets a blob that crash lands near his treehouse. Now this blob is an alien, and his homeworld just happens to be enslaved by this evil emperor, and it's your job to try to help him get back. By feeding the blob jelly beans, players can activate his special abilities to transform him into helpful tools. These are things like ladders, trampolines, parachutes, cannons, and even holes. Basically, if you get stuck somewhere, use the blob to get out of it to solve the puzzle. The thing I like the most about this game is that it's just really well made. I mean, the platforming feels really solid. The puzzle aspect is not too difficult. You can usually figure it out. And man, the artwork and the style of this game is just fantastic. It's a total hidden gem. What's up guys? I'm Jason Heine from the Emulator Review. Big shout out to Metal Jesus Rocks for allowing me to be a part of his Wii Gems video. I would love to take this opportunity to introduce one of my all time favorite games on the Nintendo Wii. And I would say it's probably the biggest gem of them all. This is Excitebots. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay now. And just remember, everything that you're seeing on the screen is being played by Metal Jesus Rock. So he is going to politely show you everything you are not supposed to do in this game. You race around in this game in robot insect bots over these beautiful maps, beautiful landscapes, water, snow, desert, beautifully detailed, really, really nice. The game features crazy mini games while racing like darts, bowling, pie throwing at clowns' faces. What, am I really talking about a racing game? Yes, I definitely am. The game is really, really cool with all the different types of gameplay that you have in there. It has a very active multiplayer community. Even as of recording this, people are on playing right now. If you've played Excite Truck, which was a launch title for the Nintendo Wii, then you will love this game. It's right up your alley. The game does take quite a bit of skill, and even though it looks kind of kiddy and childish, you really have to use memorization and know which way to go in the map. You can choose different directions. Some shortcuts are here, some aren't. You have to pick the best way to get through. Once you master the controls, corners, and maps, you are going to have a blast playing this game. It's one of my all-time favorites. This is Excitebots. You know that question of what's black and white and red all over? The answer is Mad World. The game Mad World takes place in a city which is controlled by the organizers who pit citizens against each other for their Death Watch televised sport. You play as the ultimate badass named Jack as you smash and punch your way through various levels and environments in this really cool and interesting black and white city. This game really looks like a Frank Miller graphic novel come to life. Now you gamers who really enjoy beat-em-ups are going to love this game as you craft traps, you perform nasty combos with oh, things like chainsaws, street signs, daggers, and more. You know, for such a violent and gory game, it's also surprisingly hilarious, especially the, uh, the commentators that are talking about you. Oh my god, I mean, it's just so well made and it's just a shame that you know, for all the, all the time and effort that Sega put into this game, it just didn't sell very well. On his way to hell. You don't think he maybe might go to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Rhythm Heaven Fever is the rare misstep in Nintendo releases on the Wii because it's a game that not a lot of Wii owners know about. Rhythm Heaven Fever is a music game that is, well, frankly, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's colorful and very addictive as it tests your ability to keep a groovy beat. Over 50 mini games await you wrapped in simple graphics and kind of bizarre scenarios. 
Like there's this robotic factory where you screw on robot heads. There's a date with a girl in a park with gophers watching. Don't ask. Uh, there's also golfing with monkeys and a ton more. Now, as a lot of you know, I'm a musician, I play guitar, and I've also played drums for years. And on top of that, I've actually played an awful lot of rock band and guitar hero. And I was surprised at the level of challenge that this game gave me. Sometimes you're right on the beat, sometimes you're on the off beat, sometimes you're a little bit ahead or behind. I mean, if you like rhythm games, this is something that will challenge you and also, you know, put a smile on your face. It's pretty awesome. The Core Gang by Atari has you controlling three different characters who are traveling inside this big robotic suit that amplifies their individual abilities. Now you do this while trying to save the Earth from these subterranean evildoers deep inside the Earth's crust. This game is quirky and fun and has lots of 3D platforming, puzzle solving, and even fighting. There are 30 levels in the game filled with kooky characters and some serious challenge for platforming fans. Plus the graphics are pretty nice. You can really tell that this game was in development for quite a while. My only caveat is unfortunately the controls. Now for the most part, they work pretty well, but man, sometimes that camera is just, I don't know, it's just out of control. So, you know, if you get this game cheap and you like 3D platforming games, go for it. But just be prepared that the, that the controls can kind of challenge you a bit. Boom Blocks had backing by Electronic Arts and well, even Steven Spielberg when it was released. But that couldn't convince enough gamers to give this physics-based 3D puzzle game any love. It bombed at retail. Now, playing this game all these years after its release, I mean, I'm just playing it for the first time, I can't help thinking that Angry Birds may owe some inspiration to this amazing puzzle game. In this game, you move, destroy, and even pull apart stacked blocks in varied configurations, while each level introduces more brain-twisting challenges. This game has a lot of personality, and you know, dare I say, I actually enjoy it quite a bit more than the infinitely more popular Angry Birds. Now, I know I played a, a bunch of Angry Birds, who hasn't, but there is just something about this game. Maybe it's because it's in 3D and it just adds a, a layer of complexity to it, but I don't know. Boom Blocks is a fantastic game, and if you like puzzle games and you have a Wii, it's highly recommended. Secret Files Tunguska is a point-and-click adventure game based on the mysteriously true story of the Tunguska phenomenon that occurred in July of 1908 in Russia. This true event is about a remote 830 square mile area that was suddenly and almost completely destroyed with no logical explanation. Now, some people think it was a meteor or perhaps it was a spaceship landing or maybe it was a mini black hole. Secret Files Tunguska started on the PC, actually, and then it was ported to the Wii successfully, thanks to the Wii's mouse-like controls with the Wii Remote. Now, like most classic adventure games, you're gonna be examining a lot of objects and even combining them into more useful items to solve puzzles. And there's a lot of talking to people. Everybody has a story, and often they'll reveal hints about your next objective. Now, this game is not going to be for everyone. I mean, it's definitely geared towards old-school PC adventure game fans. But if you're like me and you enjoy those, well, give this game a shot. It's, it's actually pretty fun. Mushroom Men The Spore Wars is a 3D platforming game about the tiny world of mushrooms that exist beneath us. One day, a comet passes by the Earth, and while humans don't seem to notice anything, it deposits a strange green dust that gives consciousness to things like mushrooms, cacti, flowers, and other creatures. Soon, there is war among them, and you play a three-inch tall mushroom man who has the kind of unusual ability to absorb the comet fragments and create his own tools. Now this game plays very similar to some of the classic Spyro games, maybe Banjo-Kazooie or even the 3D Raymond games, where you platform around, you're battling enemies and solving puzzles. Mushroom Man has great graphics, has decent controls, I mean they're not perfect, but they're, they're pretty good, and a twisted and just sick sense of humor, I mean it's, it's definitely laugh out loud funny. Now if I had to choose 
a, a 3D platforming game between this and say the core gang, which I showed earlier, I would probably recommend Mushroom Man. I think this game is really fun, really well made, and I don't know, it's just a total hidden gem. All right, well that's some more hidden gems for you collectors out there. Now, I have a question for you, like I always do. I'm curious, out of all of the weird and wacky games that came out on the Wii, what game are you kind of embarrassed to say that you like? Now, I, I think for a lot of people that's gonna be Wii Sports, I think a lot of people think, ah, oh, Wii Sports, you know, I'm not supposed to like that game because it was so popular. For me, personally, it's Domino Rally. I don't know if you guys have heard of this game before. It is so bizarre. It's just so bizarre. And I can't I can't even call it like a great game because it's not. It's it's more weird than anything, but it's so it's so much fun, so interesting, and it's thankfully cheap. As always, I want to thank you for watching my channel and thanks for subscribing. Take care.